Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie, and I'm finally back with another anime review. I know it's been a few months, uh, longer than I would have preferred, but I actually have moved recently, so that was a big life change. And you may notice that the background is just my bed right now because I'm sitting on the floor. So, <laughs> um, Really still trying to figure stuff out, but wanted to get out this video. So today's anime that I'm gonna be reviewing is Kaito Joker, which was requested by a viewer. And I'm probably gonna butcher your name, but I believe it's pronounced Ayako Rose. Thank you so much for requesting this review, and here it is, so hope you enjoy it. Kaito Joker is an anime I actually had never heard of prior to this recommendation, uh, so it's a new one for me. And before I watched it, I took a look at some of the images, and based on the art style, I could tell that it was geared towards a younger audience. Uh, that said, that doesn't mean it's not entertaining, uh, as I am love shows like Pokemon, Digimon, and stuff like that, which are still geared towards the younger audience, so I still took... I still watched it. I was pleasantly surprised because even though it has four seasons of 52 episodes, which I was like, well, I don't know if I can get through all that, I actually did get through all of it. So that should speak volumes to I will not be like watching a show for that long if it doesn't keep my engagement or keep me engaged, I should say. So it did that for sure. And the studio that did this adaptation, it was some manga as well. I have not read the manga either, clearly. So if that is something I should check out, let me know. Um, but Studio Shin E Animation did this uh, anime adaptation. And some shows that they've done before that stood out to me is Doraemon, Powerpuff Girls, co-produced with an American studio, and uh, My Neighbor Seki. I've actually seen all of My Neighbor Seki, and I do love that show, so very cute. And most of these shows also geared towards a younger audience, so there is a theme there. And uh, the final season for Kaito Joker aired in 2016, so um, not a super recent anime, but also not a really old anime, so it falls kind of in between there. And the basic plot. So the plot follows a character named Joker, and he is a phantom thief, which a phantom thief is a thief that sends an advance notice prior to stealing an item so that they give that item's owner a chance to protect it before they come steal it. So their mindset is that it becomes a fair battle for the object. Um, so I, I can see that, but... Is it still stealing? Yes. But I guess it's not as bad as if you just stole it without telling them you were gonna steal it. Uh, yeah, so Joker is one of these phantom thieves and there are a bunch of phantom thieves in this world. And some of them are good. Some of them are not so great. Some of them I guess would just be thieves. <laughs> it just kind of goes the episodic, you know, each episode they are stealing and there's a different object that they're gonna steal uh, and for a little bit you you don't really think that there is like an overarching plot it kind of just seems like okay well you know each episode is just like a new thing and they actually use like magic and science to like help them steal these objects which I think is kind of cool it actually is like a little bit of a science lesson in each episode uh, not like Dr. Stone but like you know something that I think like a younger audience would enjoy and find fascinating even some of them I like found fascinating, even though like I knew a lot of the science parts about it. Some of them I was like, oh, okay. I wonder if that's true. Maybe it is. <laughs> I didn't fact check them, so I don't know. <laughs> so the, it goes almost episodic, but then there is an underarching plot that comes up and it's kind of broken up. Seasons one and two have like the same villain and it's kind of like the same plot. And then seasons three and four, it kind of shifts gears. There's a new villain, there's some new characters and stuff. So that's kind of how it's broken up. Joker being the main character, I thought he was a fine main character. He, um, you know, certainly is more like spunky, go-getter type of character, but he is a little bit like of a slob and kind of, uh, kind of like jumps into stuff, you know, that kind of character. So he does have flaws. So he's not like totally OP, but he is pretty optimistic. And still just kind of has like a, you know, whatever attitude about certain stuff. So I did enjoy him as main character. I thought he suited it well. 
And the other like side supporting characters, um, Hachi is like this little ninja boy that he meets in like episode one and becomes like his sidekick. Um, Hachi like was originally planning to be a ninja, but after he met Joker, he was inspired to become a th phantom thief. So Hachi is kind of like the opposite of Joker. So they suit each other very well. Um, Hachi's a very clean person, knows how to cook really well, and he's a little bit more responsible. <laughs> um, but he's not as skilled in the Phantom Thief world, so he does get himself into a lot of trouble and has to have Joker bail him out a lot. So they balance each other very well and they become like super great friends, which is like adorable. And then two of the other like um, Phantom Thieves are uh, Queen and Spade, or King, Queen, King and Queen, or Spade and Diamond. So it's it's literally like card suit themed uh, the names of the characters so that's kind of interesting um, but Queen and Spade are both characters that were raised with Joker and trained with Joker to become Phantom Thieves when they were children they're not related they're all from separate families and they all have their own backstories which they do go into so I thought that was kind of cool that we got character development and background for each of those characters um, each of them has a sidekick Queen has a talking dog and Spade or King or whatever you want to refer to him as, both names. Uh, it has this uh, sidekick called Dark Eye. Dark Eye was one of my favorite characters. Uh, they have a pretty interesting backstory and like character reveal, which I was like, oh, I like this. And the three of them were trained by uh, Silver Heart. He's like an old grandpa phantom thief. Uh, and he actually like adopted Queen. So Queen's kind of like his adopted daughter or granddaughter. I don't know if he calls her daughter or granddaughter, I forget. <laughs> he looks old and he always hurts his back. So he could probably be her grandpa. So those are like our main good characters. There's also like the police and there's like some rich guy they always steal from who's kind of funny. So they have a lot of comedic elements. And then there's uh, the villain. So the main villain for season one is Professor Clover. And I thought he was a fine villain, you know, pretty average for the most part. My main complaint with him and probably with the first couple seasons is that he doesn't really get a backstory and we don't really have a clear motive other than he's just bad and wants to like take over the world. So those kind of motives really like put me off. I'm like, really? That's it? He's just bad? There's no reasoning why he's bad? Uh, I don't think it flew over my head. I don't remember like they didn't reveal like who he is or anything like that So maybe they do in the manga. I don't know, but I had no idea So I kind of felt like that was a little bit flawed uh, For him for the villain for seasons three and four actually uh, Felt like they tied him well into the story and gave him a background and a motive that made sense so I was much more okay with um, the De devil's fang group and the main leader of that and then in season three and four, we also get some, some new characters, which are actually some aliens, which is kind of interesting. It's like an interesting turn that they took on the whole like treasure and stealing things being like alien related. So, you know, I was like, okay, this is different, but I did like the character Phoenix. I thought he was kind of funny that he just always yawned a lot. And then they also used the, his cat. Hoshi to add more comedy because he like eats the treasures and like poops out an egg and like every time like the image of him like pooping out the egg is like pretty like funny <laughs> so I do like that <laughs> I thought it was hilarious um, so those are my thoughts on the characters and you know the series as a whole um, again I, it was geared towards a younger audience I think it, you know I could totally see myself like younger like loving this show so um, I definitely you know give it a thumbs up for that um, fortunately I'm seeing it now as like an older person but I uh, still again it was still kept me engaged I was able to watch all four seasons in 52 episodes which that if it was a show that I didn't find any enjoyment in would not have happened so my favorite seasons were two and four and I rated them a six out of ten I felt that they were the strongest of the seasons and seasons one and three were less strong, but still, you know, I was still able to watch them and get some enjoyment out of them. So I rated them a five out of 10. 
I would recommend this show to younger viewers. You know, maybe if you're looking for something like on the lines of like Pokemon or um, even like Digimon to an extent. Uh, I think it needed a little bit more in depth for me to make it higher up on a list as far as a rating goes. But again, I still enjoyed it. So thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, please comment below if you've seen this show and what your thoughts are on it or like who your favorite characters are or things like that. Um, also let me know if there's any other anime you'd like me to review. I am gonna be having a couple more videos coming out soon, um, but please let me know if there's anything you want me to review. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content, and also I will be streaming on Twitch as well. So my link to my Twitch is below, and come join me for some gaming instead of... Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night.